it's so great to be here. You're such a beautiful audience. Thank you so much for coming out. If you have... <laughs> Do it when you're ready. Make sure you've got a good support network around you. Uh, so I'm a lesbian. What? <laughs> I know. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> it's a bit of a slow burn, that one. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, doesn't make any sense. But <laughs> I'm a lesbian. Any straight people in tonight? Yeah. Uh, you're weird, aren't you? <laughs> Straight people. No, I love straight people. I love straight people. Are you straight? Yeah? What's your name, mate? Jonathan. Uh, just a bit of crowd work. So, um... <laughs> no, Jonathan. It's a good name. I'll see if I can work it into a callback for you later. I'm very good. So, <laughs> no, are you guys a couple? <laughs> uh, he said yes, she said no. Trouble in paradise. So, just a bit of crowd work. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love straight people, though. I love you guys. You're great. I love your culture. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. I've seen all your movies. <laughs> Very prolific straight people, aren't you? Very prolific. I don't get all of it. I don't understand it all. Some things... Like, you've normalised this idea, straight people, but to my people, the idea, for instance, that babies and sex are in any way connected... <laughs> is absurd. It's crazy. It's like saying, like, oh, I fingered this girl, now we've got a Shetland pony. <laughs> doesn't it? It's weird. it doesn't make sense. It's like, oh, we'll suck this guy's dick, now we've got this Pavlova. It's weird. <laughs> Stop doing it, straight people. You're so weird. No, I love, um, I love watching straight people. It's one of my hobbies, along with dog grooming and carpentry, because some stereotypes are real. <laughs> but I was, I was into carpentry at the age of 10, so no one was surprised when I came out. <laughs> I may have been in the closet, but I was also installing shelves in there. <laughs> but no, I, I love watching straight people. I love observing you, couples out in your natural habitat, the entire world. <laughs> it's so comfortable, it's strange. But I, um, I was watching this couple. One of my favourite couples is the activewear couple. I love them. I love them. Like, she's minuscule, he's fucking massive. Like, they've worked so hard to be so physically different to each other. It's like, did they have a great time at a carnival once and go, let's turn ourselves into a funhouse mirror? I don't know. But this particular couple, she was so small, this woman. She looked like she only just had the energy to say, it's a cavoodle. <laughs> Her name's Lululemon. <laughs> so embarrassing because for ages we were saying Lululemon. <laughs> Who was saying that? I was saying that. You were saying, you were saying, yes. Lululemon. Let's think about Lululemon, really? That is fucking ridiculous. Lululemon. It's, why would it be Lululemon? That's like thinking that Pie Face is actually called Pia Farce. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> My, my friend, my, a friend of mine actually does say that. My friend Candice. I mean, Candice. So, no, but I was watching this couple. She's fucking tiny and he was massive. Like, he was one of those proper, like, proper bodybuilder. You know when they get, like, so lumpy and muscled and oiled up and brown and glazed, they're like a brioche? <laughs> How much do those guys look like a brioche? They look exactly like a brioche. It's crazy. Every time she looks at him, she must be like, mmm, <laughs> brioche. And you know she can't eat carbs. Oh, it's torture. Why are you doing it to yourself, Rochelle? I don't want the Lululemon to have a fat mum. <laughs> that voice, by the way, it's not really okay, is it? The, it's a caboodle, the straight girl voice. It's not, it's not fair. It's fun, though, isn't it? Oh, guys, stop it. Stop doing the straight girl voice. Have a, let's have a couple of white wines. Actually, fuck it, let's have a Capri Oscar. It's, my favourite thing is, Emily, I don't want to slut shame you, but you're a slut and you should be ashamed. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, I love it. But straight, it's really, it's punching down, isn't it? No one has it harder than straight women. Oh, tension. <laughs> Feel that? That's not in my relationship. We're on the same team. But... <laughs> No, but straight women, you're amazing. I don't know how you do it. You're incredible. You've got all the same problems as normal women. <laughs> Flipped it. <laughs> but, but with the man thing, and nothing against you guys individually. Like, I love... Some of my best friends are men, but... <laughs> dating you, I can't even tell you guys apart. 
I can't, seriously, I see you all looking at me like, yes, you can. Nah, all I see is a bunch of paper plates with smiley faces drawn on them. <laughs> I, don't, I saw that movie Dunkirk. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> The whole thing was just like that one scene from The Matrix where Hugo Weaving is everywhere. Oh, God. I love Star Wars, but until recently, I thought there were only two characters, Princess Leia and the other guy. <laughs> Face-off didn't make sense at all. <laughs> no, but sometimes guys get a little bit like, Mwah, about that. It's fine, I, you know, I can... I know you're all, you know, you're all special. It's, a, it's not sexist, it's not... Se I don't hate men. I just hate one man. I can't tell which one he is! <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I can tell you all apart. I know who you are. Right, Jonathan? <laughs> hey, there's your callback, mate. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Thanks, I'm Zoe Kuzma. Have a good night. <laughs>